Okay. I've always been passionate about the outdoors. You know, it's really a part of who I am, and I think that CSU and Fort Collins really encourage that. Soil makes me happy. I like working in it. I like using my hands. It's four degrees. I get to be out problem solving in an area that I love to be in. What we're studying, like the trees, the, the grass, everything, we do it to protect it, to conserve it, to help it, to be an advocate for it, to just help people see how much we care for it. I mean, it's amazing. The out-of-state students, I, I always ask them why, you know, did you choose Colorado State instead of some other western state school? And they all say, well, because of the reputation of CSU. After I graduated from undergrad, I had the travel bug and I took six months and went around the world and I was so happy to come back to this place. You don't have to be a natural resources major, but um, a lot of people who are in this college are really passionate about the outdoors and you can literally walk out your front door and within 10 minutes be rock climbing, mountain biking, kayaking, swimming. My motivation for coming to CSU was because I couldn't leave the mountains and I'm just in paradise here. The CSU campus is so close to a lot of great outdoor activities, but at the same time, CSU is also a hub for a lot of research and a lot of organizations that are in Fort Collins, based out of Fort Collins, that are doing some really incredible things in the natural resource field. We're good here, because I don't see any others that look big enough that way. When my friends ask kind of what I do for the summer, um, first off I tell them I hang out in the woods and have a good time. And they're like, no, really. So technically what we're doing is uh, we're doing research about what different ponderosa pine forests look like along the front range before kind of colonial settlers started having a major impact on the land. You can learn the principles in the classroom. You can get the big ideas. Then you come out in the forest and you notice the little things and you start asking questions. How do we cut trees and keep the forest healthy? How do we recreate outdoors without over-recreating? How do you do those things? Try to imagine staying in a classroom indoors all the time and instructing how to do that. CSU is known, the Werner College of Natural Resources is one of the top programs in the country and it shows. Pingree Park in particular has a special place in my heart. There is nothing else like it in the country. At least at CSU, the students are going to spend time outdoors in a course, looking at the different land uses, from livestock grazing to cutting trees for wood products to recreation outdoors, and put those sort of issues together around conservation challenges. Having a field course sets CSU apart from so many other institutions. You get hands-on experience, you're in the field, it's a place where you really create community with your fellow students. You can't, you can't buy that, you can't make that anywhere else. Our college is sort of the total package from A to Z. You could go from anything to being a biologist, an ecologist, forester. You can get your degree in forestry but you need to know a whole lot about the human dimensions, you need to know a whole lot about the watershed if you're going to be able to communicate, if you're going to be able to address these problems and be aware of what's going on. Climate change is an enormous issue. It's a global threat to humanity and we're thoroughly entangled in it. One of the ways that I like to communicate that is through something called graphic recording. It's definitely not where most uh, environmental communication folks would find themselves, but when I saw integration of art and science and communication, I was like, that's what I need to do. It is perfectly okay not knowing what you want to do. As long as you have that spirit to go out and start talking to people, you'll be fine. You might start off thinking that you want to be an environmental educator, and maybe that's a part of it, it's woven in, but. Um, I've been really encouraged to follow my heart and do what I really want to do. In the field of conservation, which is what the, the entire College of Natural Resources is about, you start to have to ask yourself, is this outdoor recreation or is this work? And you realize well, what you're doing is good work in the name of conservation, but you're having a good time doing it. Everybody's in this college because they like what they're doing. 
They might not be school people who are excited about school, but they're excited about what they're learning. We care about something and we're here to learn about it and to really try to understand it, to keep it around so that people can enjoy it for years to come.